Hello, welcome on the Raging Beard. This is just a quick video today talking about motion smoothing added to Steam VR Beta a few days ago and why it's a big deal to me, a big deal to us as sim racers. Um, previously on Steam VR we had asynchronous reprojection, uh, which I hate the effect of. I mean, it, it did its job and it helped out in certain situations, but um, if it was overly on, it was horrible. So I would generally lower my settings to a point where it was barely on if at all. Some people can stand it more than others, I hated it. Um, but now we've got motion smoothing. Um, this is only applicable if you've got a Vive. Uh, as of right now it doesn't work with um, other devices even if you're using Steam VR. So it has to be a Vive or Vive Pro at the moment. Um, and what motion smoothing does, what Steam say, um, is it similar to what TVs do? Uh, one of my bugbears is, is motion smoothing on TVs though. Uh, having always been into home cinema, a few things I'd hate is having 5.1 but they'd have all their speakers by the telly. That made me sick. Or people would have wrong aspect ratios. <laughs> you know, that, that's not really a thing anymore luckily. Um, but people still have motion smoothing on. You know, and it makes everything look like a documentary or something, or a soap opera, and it's terrible. So if you get a new telly, make sure it's in home mode, not store mode, because the saturation's um, way too high, and um, I know loads of people aren't going to uh, calibrate their displays like I do, but you know, there's little things you can do, and one thing is turn off motion smoothing, it's horrible. Anyway, TVs do it by um, inter interpolating between two frames, uh, two existing frames, to add another frame in between, something like that, um, to smooth out the motion, which adds latency. Um, Steam VR does it, um, it looks at the two previous frames and estimates uh, the motion and the animation, they say, um, to create, extrapolate a new frame. So you get full frame rate. Um, but it only needs to render one of every two frames and if it needs to it can go further and create two or three frames for every one delivered frame I probably haven't explained that very well just google it you'll find out how it all works the important thing is you can now up your settings up your super sampling and get a much better result so just as an example I'll quickly show how how it changes things for me in Project Cars 2, which has always run great for me. I've always had uh, in game super, so in the in game super sampling 1.4, I always had Steam super sampling at 80%. That's on the Vive Pro. Now if, if people have said, well, well, I've had this before, like, well, you're stupid having it below 100%. No, you've got to have it looking good, but you've got to have it running good. And 80% is still a hefty amount of super sampling that the original one would have had. That makes sense. So if you have the Vive Pro on 62%, that's about equal to 100% on the original Vive Pro. So it's still quite a lot. Um, but now, I've, um, I've whacked the settings right up and it still feels smooth. Um, and also, it makes a set of Corsa Competizione a lot more playable. It's still not there yet, it's still got a long way to go. But it's certainly a lot better than reprojection just being on all the time, which is just you know, hideous. So let's jump into Project Cars and I'll show you what I had it on before, what I've got it like now, and then we'll try turning off uh, motion smoothing. Uh, I haven't done that yet. See how it runs without it. Maybe for all I know, everything's been optimized and video drivers are better and it's nothing to do with motion smoothing, how well it runs, but we'll find out. Um, the other good thing is per application, you obviously you can set super sampling per application which is great but also now you can set uh, motion smoothing on or off per application um, for whatever reason if you want it off uh, which is quite cool because you can do that with reprojection as far as I remember um, so anyway yeah let's jump into VR and uh, let's get let's get cracking okay then here we are in game so this is the settings I used to run uh, I've kept that at 1.4 in game I'm really just doing it by a steam super sampling so I don't need to change that for better or worse 
then performance this is what I've always run that's just for what's displaying on the monitor so I can ignore that texture resolution medium some people said it looks actually better than high I don't really notice the difference to be honest um, trial in here um, yep that it, it's just I'm not going to explain it, it just runs better for me how I've got these settings, it always has uh, medium as you can see on all of these player only, low shadow detail grass off, particles low still looks great but the important thing is it runs pretty well um, in worst case scenario full grid in the rain reprojection isn't crazy that's the main thing um, it's obviously a trade off and personal taste, so you know, you might be able to run it a lot higher graphics and not mind the uh, reprojection. I'm running a 1080 Ti by the way with an i7 8700K both overclocked. So, anyway, that's how I've got it. So, what shall we, uh, what should we have a quick go in? Quick custom race in. Um, It's crazy. This car, having you know, having it in a set of Corsa and downloaded. I can't remember what sound pack it was. A sound pack. You download it in like four parts. And it replaces a lot of cars. This being one of them, and the sound is just immense. And this is is crap. The sound it is crap. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Uh, start. So. Hold on. So with um, motion, I'm currently on Steam Super Summoning 8% motion smoothing off, which I believe means asynchronous reprojection is on. Let's try and get the wheel somewhere centered compared to my wheel. That's just how I like to do it, put my hand in the middle of the thing and Bit more right. That looks good. So, and when we start, I'm going to move myself back and up a bit, which I can do instantly by buttons. Bad start. Right, don't worry about driving. Let's keep an eye on performance here. The rain really isn't a massive issue in this game. You can get away without wipers on, pretty much. But let's put them on. Right, looking at stuff side on, that's where reprojection really showed. Jesus. See, it runs pretty well, doesn't it? I mean, I know you don't get the exact same experience on screen as I do I'm not paying any attention to <laughs> what I'm doing with the gears um, you're not getting the same visual experience obviously that I am but I've got to say it runs well this is why I've kept these settings for a long time now if I look side on there I can see reprojections on stuff is judging by it's not so obvious up ahead obviously that's how it works but looking around the cockpit, there you go, I'm getting a bit there. So it's not too bad, you know, in this worst case scenario. Oh, hello. And it still looks fantastic. It's a good looking game. So you can see it come on and off a little bit. But it's at the point where you don't need to pay any attention to it. But, but you know, I feel we're going higher. Um, and this was as high as I was willing to go with with the graphics to keep it as smooth as this. So anyway, let's come out. Uh, come out this. Come out totally. I'm going to change... Um, tube sampling. In fact, what I'll do is um, we'll go up to higher graphics 
and keep motion smoothing off. See what it's like. Okay, so we're back in the game. I've upped super sampling from 80% to 90%. That 10% is quite quite a big jump. Motion smoothing is still off at this point. Now the in-game options uh, might be pushing it too far. Actually, I haven't tried it like this yet. So texture resolution on medium for now. I don't want to change anything else in case I've got to reset the game again. Anisotropic filtering at 16%. Um, and now I've moved these up to high. Track detail, I'm going to try on ultra. I haven't actually seen it on ultra yet. So I don't know what track side objects it adds. Pick crew doesn't matter. Shadow detail, move from low to medium. Um, detail grass, I've turned on to low. Um, I'm not really paying attention to it, but you know. I used to have it off, so low is, you can see there's a bit of grass as you go by. Um, particle level and particle density are both had on low. I'm now putting these as high as I'll go, which is high and ultra. So let's try again. And this is, as I say, with just async reprojection, I believe, because motion smoothing is off. So we'll go, we'll go same car. Same again. It's just no doubt just going to be awful. If it isn't, well, then I'm talking nonsense, which is highly likely anyway. But right, get the steering wheel somewhere around accurate, just because it feels nicer. That'll do. Ooh, so backing up a bit. Start. Back up. Been rammed. Uh, right, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's all. There's some jaggies back there. Not as bad as I thought it'd be, I will be honest. Uh, yeah, you can see the reprojection. Oh, look at me. I'm, again, straight into sick gear, not paying any attention. Right, no, reprojection clearly on as they go past. They're ghosting past me. You know what I mean by that. If you know reprojection, ghosts of themselves. A little ghost trail is what I mean. Yeah, it's it's on pretty much. I look at us. That's hideous. Looking out the side. Looking around the cockpit is always on. It really is. It really is a massive difference when you when you when you haven't got any reprojection on. Everything's so smooth. It's so much more immersive, it does feel a lot more real. It's, it's not, I mean, it's not that bad. It is actually, it's actually more playable than I thought it would be, to be honest. I haven't tried on settings this high in a long time. I think it's obviously been improved. But, I wouldn't keep it at this. It's, it's on too much through projection. I obviously had a bit of room for him. Proving the graphics more than what I had, I'll admit that. What you know, but um, I wouldn't want to be keeping it this high. Oh, that was that was a bit hideous. As it came out of that turn. Um, yeah. So it's not pleasant, but it's not it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. So maybe with see that was horrible as he went by. So maybe with motion smoothing, there's room to up it even more. All right, let's come out. Let's come out. And I do have the sharpening trick done. You know, in the ini file, wherever it is, I can't remember. Add a little bit of sharpening. Uh, but I've always had that as soon as that was that came out. All right, let's come out and. Uh, Let's try again as is with motion smoothing on. 
maybe I can up it a little more, we'll see. Okay, back in the game, all in-game graphics options as before. Custom race, start. Obviously this is pointless bringing up frame rates etc, I'm not, if anything I'm hitting the frame rates more obviously. This is just changing how SteamVR deals with that. Right. Okay, so the cars look smoother next to me. You can see something's happening. Motion smoothing is doing something. You can see the slight side effect of it, I think. It's almost as if it's when the wiper goes past. Was well, that an effect from the rain that I don't actually remember? I mean, you can, if you look out the window, there is some slight judder. It's not black magic, but it's, it's way better than it was looking out the windows, looking side on. It's smoother, obviously. It sort of judders there, but a smoother judder. What does difference with ultra particles compared to low what I used to have. Yeah, it does look better, not a dramatic amount. There is more rain, I guess, making wipers more meaningful. Oh, hello, massive puddle. So this is, this is, last lightning, this is, um, Perfectly drivable. This is a lot more comfortable than that reprojection. Looking around the cockpit, yeah, it's not the same, obviously, as if there's no, you know, if I was getting 90 frames per second without any help, but it's a lot better than it was with reprojection. Let's let some cars pass, watch them go by. Oh, Jesus. So there's no ghost of themselves, no little, slight little trail. Which I was getting before. Why aren't they passing? <laughs> Why aren't they passing? I'm barely moving here. Come on, on the straight then. Yeah, that's much better, much better. There's just this one slight weird effect. I'm not sure if it was there before. It is almost related to the wiper. Turn it off. Let's keep looking ahead. Always a good idea when driving generally. Yeah, I think it's an effect from the wipers then. Maybe again that's something that is now more pronounced with the uh, particle effects up higher. I think it's... I think it's... It's 
hard to pinpoint, very slight, as if it's trying to replicate the light being refracted, whatever the word is, um, as the wiper pushes the, the collected water across the windscreen. Yeah, it is a lot better. Does that show? That show. Right, here's a good place to sit and judge. Those turn markers down there, right? Can you see it? As the wiper goes back past them, up past them, there's a brief flash of a ghost of themselves just to the right and up a bit. I might experiment and see if it does that. See if it's, that's an effect that's meant to be occurring. Or if that's to do motion smoothing. Right, let's let's exper uh, let's let's experiment. I'll let you know. Right, so we're back in game. I've got motion smoothing off. Back down to eighty percent. Super, uh, super sampling, but I've left all the other graphics the same. It actually runs not bad, not not too bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, obviously better than we had it just now, 90% with motion smoothing off. Um, and in fact. Uh, this 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 I'd be happy to I think I'd be happy to have run with this all this time I could have had these graphics settings up to this level I think. Right now I'm trying to see if that effect was some motion smoothing. Let's watch the cars go by. Oh, uh, uh, oh my god. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, yeah, my bad. <laughs> okay, now, you know what? I think I might have to uh, eat my own words a little bit. motion smoothing was making that effect happen. See these signs no longer have that ghost image as, as the wiper goes back on past. That's quite a big deal, that's quite a big deal because it was it was causing that effect all over. Obviously I could pinpoint it looking at a specific point such as that. Um, sign that board well that's changed the whole the whole uh, the whole point of this video somewhat hmm I mean, here's here's where you can see it obvious. Okay, as I move my head like this, look at these white lines on the display. So you can see them ghosting themselves. It's not a nice effect. And uh, what's happened here? We're getting pushed. We're getting pushed along. We're actually getting pushed along. Of course, chaos. Yes. Some more experiment to be had then. So at what level? Because you do not want that effect coming in. Well, this video has not gone quite as expected. Let's try changing settings and come back. Right. We're reloaded. 
in game settings still all the same up the higher end of where I put things super sampling keeping at 80 with uh, motion smoothing on this time so I'm thinking let's see how it is with a lower super sampling and motion smoothing on so maybe it's on less see if that effect is still obvious and I don't know if it trans you know comes across even on, on monitor what I'm seeing No, I can see it's like a warping of the oh, hang on. slight warping of the image. Which I guess I just didn't notice before when I was playing around with it. But now I now I can see it and I'm seeing it all the time. I mean, yes, things are smoother. Obviously, that's the name. That's the name of the game. Motion smoothing. As the cars go by, they're smoother. But looking ahead, that effect there. Hmm. I think I might just be totally wrong, and um, this video is almost pointless. Well, we've learned maybe motion smoothing is, is a bad idea. Right, let's let everyone pass. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the side view is clearly better. No, it's back. It's back. It's flashing even quicker now. But it's there. You can see it. Look at those turn markers. That wasn't there with async on. Well, so all that should be at the beginning of the video was total nonsense. I mean, I'm making up as I go along, basically, but um, no, I think I've got to revise my decision. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Okay, so a lot of tweaking, exiting, reload the game, a lot of reloading the game, and here we are. My final conclusion well so settings I'm happy out that are beyond what I started with right first of all smooth motion is out the window motion smoothing's gone the whole point of this video no no <laughs> no get rid of it don't use it turn it off maybe it'll get better in time but for now you do not want it so I started with 80% super sampling I'm now at 90% super sampling and with these settings, I have moved texture resolution up to high. Do I notice anything different? Not really. Um, Trial in here, I've moved back down. I had it as high as it will go. I've moved it back down now as low as it will go. I don't really notice any visual change, but there is a definite um, improvement in um, performance there. Um, MSIA, again, I've tried that higher. Don't really look any different, but impacted performance. Um, high and high, I've gone with ultras here, don't need any pit crew, shadow low, now shadows I tried up in, um, obviously it hits performance but even on ultra the shadows aren't great, if you look at like um, the wiper, the shadow of the wipers, um, they're still jaggy even on ultra and even the car um, shadows on track, they don't follow the contour of the car, 
So it's no real advantage. No, you might as well have them on low. Um, detailed grass. Now I've decided, as I can, performance. I can get away with having grass on and keep a good decent performance. I will. Um, again, there's no point in having high. Um, as far as I can tell, looks the same as medium. High is going to add distance, but in VR, stuff. I think graphic settings that set long distance for things um, are less important because the inherent nature of VR at the moment is the resolution is quite low and things far away are, aren't as clear. So you don't need things to be rendering miles away. I hope I'm making that clear. So medium, likewise with um, particle level, the further away you'll be able to see them. So there's no point having that as high as it will go. Um, density, I had ultra, put it down a high. It's pretty much the same to me. Anyway, so these are the settings I have finalised on for now at 90% super sampling on the Vive Pro. Oh yeah, and of course this is with OBS running, that's what I meant to say. Massive point. OBS made a big hit. Um, yeah, OBS is a massive hit, and obviously I've got it on again now. When I was testing with it off, this was way smoother. It is a big, big performance impact, OBS. So without it, I was getting no async reprojection here. Doing this, everything stayed crystal clear, no ghosting. I mean, even with OBS on, this is still pretty good. And I tried motion smoothing without OBS, it's still the same effect that I was exp explaining before. I mean, this is this is running pretty great. It's looking awesome. Shame about the shadows. Look at them. How is that the shape of the car? And it doesn't get better on ultra, really. So after countless loading changing settings and exiting the game and reloading um, the conclusion is scrap motion smoothing ignore everything I said at the start, it was nonsense I made this video as I go along you know, I'm not scripting nothing or changing what I said at the start I filmed it in order of how you're seeing it um, and yeah, I just learnt as I went along. Get rid of motion smoothing. It it doesn't work for sim racing. It doesn't work for project cars. It's not going to work for any of them. Uh, it's not suited to that nature of game. But I also learnt I had a lot of headroom on my graphics card. You know, I thought I had project cars two in the perfect sweet spot. I mean, maybe I did for the 1080 and I didn't rejiggle for the TI. Uh, I don't know, but I've gone from 80% super sampling to 90. That's quite a big hit. Um, so it looks sharper. I've up things from low or medium to highs or above. Um, and yeah, it looks great. Plays great. Um, and I have to bear in mind OBS is a massive performance killer uh, and obviously if you're doing it for yourselves don't don't judge by reprojection or whatever being on as soon as you start the race you've got to get off the grid spread out a little bit you know because in your patch on the grid obviously that's the biggest performance impact but. so yeah basically um, what we've learned from this is uh, I was full of shit uh, which, you know, I guess no surprise, nothing new. Um, yeah, I was 
been a bit of a waste of time really if you're still here and I don't know what you're doing here we haven't learned anything useful um, yeah nothing more to be said sorry <laughs>